discussions the past couple of years. As those things kind of keep happening, how do you not feel just really unlucky or almost cursed at the way some of these games are ending down the stretch? I think you got to kind of move past it. You got to believe in your coaches. You got to, uh, you know, you got to kind of put your head down and just let it go. And uh, you know, try not to dwell in the past. You know, take a peek back there and kind of remind you of things you don't want to do. But I think the biggest thing is don't dwell on it. And, you know, understand the coaches. When did you learn that? I guess one more going to be able to play today, and did that kind of do anything different for you mentally, thinking, okay, it's going to be another twenty or thirty period game here. So I got out on Friday. Um, honestly, from from watching all the guys practice and practicing with them, you know, I felt it was going to be, you know, some split time because I had total confidence in Tom, all of them, some of here. So you know, I, I wasn't, you know, positive that it was going to be all me, but you know, that's what it takes. You think just open up a little bit in the second half because I know obviously. Kind of having to grind out a lot of three and four yarders there in the first half, and then kind of finally broke those a little bit there after the half. Uh, yeah, that, that's kind of how it played out. That's kind of how our coach tells it. Is you got a pound, 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 and one of them won't break for you. But John, I know that Andrew's old. It's kind of what you guys wanted, but with the crowd thing into it, and the way the offense started to really kind of find its footing in the second half, was, was, was it fun out there when y'all were really got when you got that rhythm going? It was amazing. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen a crowd get that animated. When that song, uh, Ain't Worried About Nothing, come on, that I was just like, wow. It, it was amazing. It was electric in there. And, uh, and they played a giant part in, in helping us, you know, build momentum and kind of swing things out of our way. What do you think Justin Morley proved today? Kind of what we already knew that, you know, he can throw the ball, he's confident, he got the intelligence to know where and where things need to be at. And uh, I think he kind of settled in today. It looked like he kind of loosened up a little bit. Because they can sometimes do it in the second half, but I don't know if he would have tried earlier in the year. Yeah, definitely. And, um, I'm happy for him. And I'm happy that he got straight ball around. And, you know, they gave him a little more rope to just slam it. Anything you can say to Danny? I know that as a running back, I mean, you've had a couple of you know, balls that have popped up over the years. I mean, anything you can say to him in that spot? I mean, it's just kind of a nightmare scenario to be in for a player, I guess. Oh yeah, I told him, honestly, in the shower, uh, I said it could happen to anybody. I, I can't imagine any other player not diving and, and trying to stretch for that for that pylon. And at the end of the day, man, he played a great game. Is he tough enough to think, what do you know about him to kind of bounce back from that? Obviously, you know, you've been in kind of similar situations, maybe not to that level, but do you think he's the kind of guy that can bounce back from that? Oh yeah, he'll, he'll be fine. He'll be fine with the type of support that you know we have around him and coaches, and he'd be fine. That wasn't his fault. He was trying to make it work. Go more. Ray John, what do you think allowed Justin to kind of loosen up, settle in? I think once she started completing a couple passes, you know, we hold up and protect a little bit more, giving him a little extra time. I think he starts to you know build confidence and you know, okay, they got my back. I can kind of set my feet and you know kind of get it with him. Do you think you guys gain more confidence in him? Or the offense kind of need that performance? Yes, definitely, definitely, definitely. I mean, we always believe in him, but you know, we're glad that it's you know it's shown, and uh, it could have came at a better time. All right, Rich, I'll thank you very much.